Operating in the Courts of Heaven by Robert Henderson, continuing in chapter 9. When we read in Scripture that something evil was done by God, my own personal opinion is that God did not do it. He simply had to allow it legally. When the devil has a legal right to perform evil, God must allow it unless someone comes to the court of heaven to contest that right. Let's look at the example of Job. God did not kill Job's children, afflict him and with sickness, or take away as well. Satan did. God did not want this to happen, but Satan presented a case showing his legal right to afflict Job. His accusations against Job concern the motives of Job's heart. Job 1, 9 through 11. We see Satan telling the Lord that Job was only serving God because God had blessed and secured him so much. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household, and around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But now stretch out your hands and touch all that he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. Job 1, 9 to 11. It appears that everything is judged and evaluated in heaven. Even when we are doing everything right, the devil can still question our motives. That is what threw Job into his tribulation. This tells me that we need to allow the Holy Spirit to not only empower us to walk rightly, but also form a pure and clean heart. God had to allow these afflictions until Job set things in order and rescinded Satan's legal rights. Once Job did this, God rendered a judgment that restored Job twice what he had lost. When evil occurs, we should always look for the legal right that allows it. When we do, we can confidently go into the court of heaven, deal with the legalities, and shut the door on evil. The principle, this principle explains why intercessors so often feel the passion of God in their prayer, and yet nothing seems to change. It is very possible to feel what God feels, experience his desires, and be unable to move anything in the spirit realm. Knowing God's heart and being able to ad administrate it legally are two very different things. If we want to see God's passion manifest on earth, we must get into things, we must get things legally in place. The devil always resists God and us with legalities. The Lord will not override his own judicial system to grant his passion. He cannot. We must step into that system and grant him legal right to fulfill his passion. Repentance, the missing key. In Matthew 16, 18 to 19, Jesus said that the governmental people, his ecclesia, said that he would build, would use keys of authority to set in place legal things and remove legal things to his kingdom purposes would be done. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The church or ecclesia has been given the keys to bind and loose. As I shared in a previous chapter, the words bind and loose are legal in their nature. We as God's individual and corporate people are to go into the courts of heaven and put binding things in place so God can legally fulfill his father's passion. We are able to loose or dissolve contracts the devil has in the earth realm that allow him the legal right to kill, steal, and destroy. He has to have legal right to do it. Our job is to remove that legal right from him. We do this through repentance for ourselves and our, his and our history and the history of our nations. Anything the devil is doing in the nations is because our sins and the sins of our generations have granted him the legal right to do it. When we repent, we remove his legal right of operation. We are breaking the devil's snare. 2 Timothy 2, 25-26 tells us if we, we break this, the snare and set, people, me, and set people free through repentance. In humility, correcting those who are in opposition, if God perhaps will grant them repentance, so that they may know the truth and they may not come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil. And having been taken captive by him to do his will. 2 Timothy 2, 25-26. Notice that God grants repentance. Repentance is a legal activity that affects the courts of heaven. When I repent and come into agreement with the testimony of the blood and the other voices, the accuser is silenced. The snare he has fashioned is just broken and we can escape. We are no longer bound to him to do his will, but are freed from his oppression he no longer has a legal right to torment and terrorize us when we repent repent we grant god as a judge of all the legal right to render verdicts from his throne in agreement with his kingdom purpose the judge of all is waiting on us to give him the legal right to manifest his goodness